Crooked sense for a duck may be shown by his mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp where the weather is cold and damp. Be kind to your friends at the pond for that goose may be some bird's brother. Be kind to the frogs and birds with the fins so they want you to come back again. Be kind to your web-footed friends, for a duck may be somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp, where the weather is cold and damp. Now you may think it's the end. Well, it is. This is a town called Fenleyville. It was part of Car Town where Putt Putt lives. In the truck yard, Captain Parker, Finley, and his friends are gathered for an exciting story. Today, where to live in Australia, said Captain Parker. We can still visit Fenleyville to do the same things. In order to get to the country, we will go by boat. That's at the bottom of the earth, said Finley. You'll be sleeping for the whole journey. That's right, Finley. You'll have to cope with it. Oh! Dear, it will be boring us on a long cruise, Finley thought. There has to be a quicker way. What can we do to avoid the boat trip? asked Isabel, the ice cream van. I've never been on a cruise to Australia before said Gobby. Captain Parker may think it's exciting, but we don't. What we need is a door of adventures, said Finley. I just remembered when visiting the recycling centre. Um, <coughs> um, can we talk it away from Captain Parker? said Scooty. We can't let him spoil our surprise. Let's talk in that shed, just over there. He won't listen. They hid in the shed, closed the door, and talked out the plan. While visiting the recycling centre, I saw a shop which wasn't noticed from us, except me. So where to visit it, Finley explained, but we must leave a note to let Captain Parker know where we are. Um, what's the shop got to do with our trip to Australia? asked Scooty. Well, we just need to find it. Let's take our luggage and Captain Parker's, then visit the town. I'm ahead of you, Finley. I've got this paper, said Gobby. Great, Gobby. Let's make the note, then make our drive. Gobby wrote the note and put it on the wall. 
and Finley went home to take Captain Parker's bag. What's he doing with Captain Parker's bag? Hmm. Where do you get the note? When all the friends met, they went in a single line, and when everything was ready, sneaked quietly away, unnoticed. Where are they going? As they went on the main road, they made a fast pace driving away from Friendlyville. This was a great drive they were making. No boat trip was ever haunting them. A visit to the town was a great thing to do. Boat trip, eh? said Finley to his friends. Any grown-up truck can't be smart enough for a small one. No more birching, said Gobby. Long drive awaits. No more wobbles, said Isabel. I wonder if Australia will like my ice cream. A first drive we can make, said Scooty. I say, who's that driving the other way, said Gobby. Uh-oh, it's Dexter. We'd better avoid him. Just keep driving, said Finley. But stay calm. You won't suspect a thing. So they all did, as he gave out the order. Huh? Hey. Was that Finley and his friends? What are they up to? After a long drive, Finley and his friends arrived in the town and found what they were looking for. It was a shop full of things from around the world. And through the door was a room. Come on, let's get inside, said Finley. So they did. When they went through the door, they headed to the room after buying a scrapbook. Hey, come and have a look at this! Ooh! Once inside the room, they found a table and drawing pieces. But they didn't have time for it. They looked around the room. As if by magic, Sweet Bell appeared. Hello, Finley, she said. Can I help you and your friends? Yes, please, Sweet Bell, said Finley. We're looking for Dove Adventures. We're avoiding a boat trip, said Scooty. Plus, we're surprising Captain Parker. There's a room where you find it, said Sweetabelle. I'll tell Captain Parker where you went. Don't make a noise, said Isabel, but I can see him coming. Get inside quickly. When they were in the little room, the friends found another door which, for some reason, was left open. This is so exciting, said Gobby. 
I might find more rubbish. Time to make a first drive, said Finley. One by one, they went through the other door. I wonder where they're going to end up after they went through the open door. Meanwhile, back in Fenleyville, Captain Parker was checking on the little t but they were not about. Little trucks, where are you? He then saw the note stuck on the door, so picked it up to read. Gone to the town to visit a shop on the other side of the buildings. If you go there, Sweetie Bell will tell you where to find us, it said. Captain Parker realised the literal trucks were avoiding the boat trip, so decided to find them. It was no wonder his bag went missing. Finley and his friends came to the other side of the door, finding themselves in a forest. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look. They drove to the edge to see where they ended up. Look! We're in a town! But it doesn't look like our land, nor a lot of our kind, said Finley. Can you smell that? said Gobby. It's rubbish. We're in a tape yard, said Scotty. But what's that building over there? Hmm. This looks peculiar, said Finley. Follow me, guys. Where to look in that building? Take care, though. It could be a trap. It doesn't look like a trap, Finley, said Isabel. It looks like a shop for road machines. There's a blue bus. He just left it. So it's not a trap, said Finley. I think we could do with a bit of treasure hunting. The trucks went driving to the building known as an op shop for road machines. It certainly was a surprise for them when they went inside. This is the life, said Gobby. Not many shops have a stock larger than this. I guess we could take something to remember, said Isabel. Say, is that who we saw from the shop? Captain Parker? Hang on a minute, it's the wrong truck, Isabel. Not Captain Parker? Uh-oh. To their horror, it was Dexter, the dump truck.
who had suspected the plot. They could just see him from the woods about to drive out. What could they do to lose him? Thinking carefully, Finley saw a road leading them to somewhere. Follow me, guys. We don't want him to spoil our plot. Driving away, they went out of the tip, just in time to avoid another truck. Captain Park also appeared. The trio came to the town, filled with traffic at work. Not really knowing the place, they looked for sign. Stay in mind, Finley said. We don't want to get lost. There's that blue bus again, said Scooty. Let's follow him. It was a good thing they did, for when they followed the blue bus, they found the sign with the name of the town. Glenorchy, that's where we are, so let's follow the road or the blue bus. So their journey began. They drove away from Glenorchy following the main road. It was as they drove on the main road that they saw a plume of steam, or rather, smoke. Finley, said Isabel, is that smoke I see? Hmm, we'd better have a look said Finley. It's up that hill. They got off the main road and up the top woodland. The smell was lurking to their noses when they got close. Soon, they found where the smoke was coming from. A bush is on fire, said Gobby. It's a good thing we noticed it. I'll put it out, said Finley. So he did. It was out. just as another fire truck arrived. Hello, said the firefighter. You got here first. Hello. We got off the main road to get to the smoke, said Finley. Thanks for assisting. We were far away to reach the bush. Where are you off to, by the way? We're looking for a sign. We are in Hobart. That's where you're going to. After departing the fire engine, Finley, Gobby, Isabel and Scooty continued the journey. Along the way, they passed the blue bus they saw earlier.
Hello, welcome to Tasman Soda, said Tayo. The trio smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he was friendly. They look friendly. After another long journey, they found themselves in Kingston. My, oh my, what a journey to make, said Isabel. It's a good thing Dex didn't follow us, said Gobby. A long drive is better than a boat trip, said Scooty. Plus a good patrol, said Finley. What are we here for, Finley? asked Gobby. To live in Gobby, but I don't know where. Hmm. Maybe the blue bus can help, said Scooty. There he is. Tyre came driving up. Hello again. Lost after drive, he said. Yes, we are. My Finley, Gobby, Scoot and Isabel, and we just got here, but don't know a place to sleep in, said Gobby. Do you know where we can live in? Hmm? You can live in our shed, said Tyro. Or another one I discovered. Follow me. So he took them to where he lived. Huh? Where did they come from? When they reached the garage, they found what Tyro discovered. This is where you'll sleep in. Thanks. Now you can surprise Captain Parker. Who's he? He's another fire engine. He could be following the road by now. Hey guys, I've got a camera. Oh! You'll get a surprise. Good thinking, Gobby. Hey, we did the same thing to Sito. I'll tell him I found you. Friendly, isn't he? He came back with Captain Parker. There you are, Finley. I thought you would come to the shop. Why didn't you take the boat trip? We came to a door of adventures, Captain Parker. The boat trip was too long and we would sleep during the journey. Sweet Isabel told you to follow us and you ended up in Granarchy. I thought you were coming early, but it was Dexter. Wrong truck. Don't worry about him. I had a word with the manager of the trip, and he said he can help with dumping rubbish. Phew. He won't bother us again. Anyway, we want to show you the footage on the camera. I've got it. I'll just switch it on. They showed him the road trip and the fire Finley put out after their visit to Granarchy.
the end I'll put the camera away you seem to get up to many ways to make an adventure yeah we wanted to surprise you now we're living here we might learn all the new things that come to us as long as you work you can and visit a tip like you did in Fenleyville they all agreed to that advice long afterwards you see Finley and his friend shut their eyes remembering the first drive. Hmm. I wonder what they'll do the next day. Be kind to your web socket friends. For dark maybe some dark is mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp, where the weather is cold and damp. Be kind to your friends at the pond, for the goose may be some bird's father. Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins, so they want you to come back again. from the swamp where the weather is cold and damp be kind to your friends at the pond for the goose may be some bird's father be kind to the frogs and birds with the fins so they want you to come back again be kind to your web-footed friends for a duck may be some bird's mother be kind to your friends from the swamp Where the weather is cold and damp Now you may think it's the end Why it is 